This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. The major in Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top story. A train plowed into a car after a driver broke down on the track in Westchester. Police said that driver got out of the car after it stalled on the crossing on East Crescentville Road. You can see it in front of the train there. The car, a sitting duck for the southbound train as it pushed it about a tenth of a mile down the tracks before it finally came to a stop. East Crescentville Road was closed at Windish Road for a few hours as crews worked to remove that car from the track. No injuries reported. President Joe Biden is coming to Cincinnati on Friday to meet with manufacturing leaders and discuss legislation aimed at creating incentives for new technology. The White House, though, has not released yet the location or the time. We'll update you once we learn more. Happening tonight, we're taking a closer look at alternative solutions to deal with post-traumatic stress. WCPO 9 anchor Craig McKee is hosting a free event called Post Trauma Healing Stories and Resources. Disabled American Veterans is sponsoring the event alongside the Cincinnati VA Medical Center. It's happening at Memorial Hall in Cincinnati. There will be a screening of two documentaries, then a panel of experts and a Q&A session with the audience. You can find a link to register at WCPO.com slash homefront. The event itself starts at six. Got a lot happening out there on the radar. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, Adrian, we're looking at a nine first warning weather alert day today, all because of the threat of strong and severe storms. This includes all of us here across the tri-state, and it really begins to open up through the rest of your afternoon and evening. Looking like the prime window is probably between 4 and 7 o'clock through northern Kentucky, southwestern Ohio, with a few individual strong or severe cells on the back side of this. Wrapping up as we head on into the evening and then overnight into tomorrow will dry out. Your main threats here? Mainly just the damaging wind gusts, but tornadoes will be possible. Hail and flooding still there as well, but not as high as the other two categories. The timing of this, 2 until 6 o'clock for southeast Indiana, as well as parts of Boone County in Kentucky and areas west of I-75 and I-71. 3 to 7 for the I-71, I-75 corridor, and then 4 to 8 for areas east of Cincinnati. Be safe and have a great rest of your Tuesday.